this pandemic i feel that uh, i think everybody has gone through this emotion where they must have thought yaar ek stable life bhi better hota it mein job kar rahe hote you know that then you would have got your salaries koi cut nahi hota koi kaam ki koi kaam ki kami nahi hoti see my father was never really uh, uh, never really supported me in the sense that he was always in favor of a 9 to 5 job Welcome to another episode of Success Stories, a talk show presented by Trident Communication in association with World Humanitarian Foundation. I am Sneha, your host for today, and our guest today is Deepak Vadhwa. Deepak is an Indian television and film actor. Today, we talk about his journey towards success. Hello, Deepak. How are you doing? Hi, Sneha. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure to have you in our show today. So we'll begin with the questions for you. Absolutely. Deepak, Let's start. You know that you were an engineering student, and you switch your career from engineering to the entertainment industry. So, how this decision you took? It's a it's a long story. Uh, to you know, to cut short. After my twelfth exam uh, examination, I I got a good percentage and uh, got admission in this engineering college. At the same time, I was inclined towards uh, modeling at that time. I took up a mod, took up a modeling course, uh, did a modeling course, did a few fashion shows, got some photo shoots done, and at the same time, uh, uh, you know, my engineering started, and then I realized, okay, you know, I can't do both the things together. It's too difficult. You know, for doing engineering is not easy as it seems. Uh, you have like full whole day of college and uh, you might bunk colleges but you can't really focus on other things so i decided to just pursue my education i uh, I, i always wanted to you know be good at my studies as well i i still love to study i still love to read a lot so engineering happened everything took a back seat i did modeling in uh, in my colleges as well you know in the college fest and stuff but then uh, that wasn't really professional modeling and uh, then then uh, while my engineering was getting over i got placement in uh, infosys and oracle okay and after my engineering got over i decided to get a photo shoot done you know till the time my my joining comes you know joining aati hai after after a few mm-hmm. months of your graduation so i thought you know let me try my hands hands on uh, modeling and i'll see i'll see where to head after that the moment i decided to get my uh, portfolio done that's very same day my joining date came <laughs> so uh i still went ahead with my photo shoot i was uh, appreciated for my pictures that i got and uh, after that i got a few calls for you know good good assignments that was supposed to happen after the joining date you know my joining date i still remember was 29th october 2007 and uh, that was for infosys and uh, that was uh, 29th october and the shoots were supposed to happen after that so i thought you know let me just get my joining delayed <laughs> i got my joining delayed honestly uh, for the shoots because it was a good good opportunity and you won't believe it the shoots didn't happen oh <laughs> yeah i didn't i didn't go for the joining i didn't go for my joining and the shoot all shoots also didn't happen so i don't know maybe it was uh, the universe giving me signs or what it was i was like it's okay it's just that my joining is delayed that's all nothing more to it and then again uh, in december my joining came again i got it delayed for some reason and then finally in april 2008 my joining was there in mysore and my flight tickets were booked <clears throat> and sunday i was supposed to fly saturday i was shopping and saturday evening i don't know what happened to me that i was like mujhe i don't want to go you know i don't really i don't feel like going and i didn't go okay <laughs> so that's how uh, <clears throat> i left my job and in the middle uh, i forgot to mention that mr india also happened mr india happened in february 2008 i was mr india international in that i was top 5 finalist okay so that happened and then uh, i didn't go 
for my job and after a few days i was like shit what have i done i don't know what's <laughs> going to happen in the modeling scenario my you know i was after mr india you hope that you'll get a lot of work but mm-hmm. i don't think that happens in men's men's fashion men's uh, mr in- sorry mr yeah, india doesn't yeah. happen female uh, has a lot of work in terms of modeling but men they have comparatively lesser work so plus i didn't know how the industry worked you know how what are the dynamics of the industry what are this what are the ways to get to work approach people everything so i was quite disheartened and uh, i decided to just find some job you know random like a software testing job or something and june july i joined a job and you won't believe i didn't do any work after mr india for 5 months july i joined august first week i joined the job and august i worked i got 10 assignments Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of, you know, that you, you understand, right? When life gives you signals. So it was, like a sign from, it was like a sign from the universe that it's pulling me back towards this career. Yeah. But this time I decided I will, focus, I will also do my job. I will not, I will float in two, two boats. I will see till when I can float in two boats. And I decided to pursue my job as well. And I decided to continue with my modeling career as well as much as I can. So that's how basically... both the things started in 2009 i finally decided to quit my job and be focused totally on my modeling at that time while i was in delhi and 2010 i decided that modeling ho gaya bas i'm tired i can't do any more modeling i want to get into acting now and okay. automatically uh, i got the right people to join workshops with theater workshop with i did a few plays and also i kept auditioning for tv shows during that time and uh, Finally, I got my first break in October 2010. Don't let him manzil me, which was on Star One. That was like mm-hmm. a main lead uh, uh, capacity role, and uh, there were three main leads. We had a great time. We shot in Pune, so that was like a major break for me. Okay. So that's the nutshell. That's a long story, but that's still a shorter version that I have told you. Yeah. <laughs> so this like engineering is supposed to be like after engineering, we are supposed to get a nine to five job. It's a stable job. like financial security is there so what was your parents reaction like you are quitting your job and going for uh, opting for modeling so how do they react see my father was never really uh, uh never really supported me in the sense that he was always in favor of a 9 to 5 job he was always uh, mm-hmm. focused in, you know you should get a stable job it's stable money it's good financially you know it's you should secure yourself financially and my mom at the same time was I'm pretty much supportive of my career in modeling at that time and my dad wasn't my father was a drunk to be honest you know he, he was yeah. a businessman he's seen his ups and downs and he really thought that always you know you should get into service all those you know people born in the 50s 60s i have that mindset where you they yeah. feel that you know people should get a stable job it's always better yeah so he wasn't they, wrong they have seen like financial security is important yeah yeah so uh, he was absolutely right but when i got my first show and when he saw that i'm getting a decent pay <laughs> he was happy you know a funny thing that i would like to mention here about my papa is that uh, before i got my first tv show he used to whoever he used to meet he used to tell them uh, listen mera mera beta engineer hai agar koi job ho to batao <laughs> okay but the moment i got my first television show that moment he started telling everybody that yeah my son is an actor Okay. Yeah. They started feeling proud of you, actually. <laughs> no, no. They were always proud, but they were always uh, like parents, you know, who wanted me to be stable in my life. My mom was always supportive. To be honest, I didn't uh, mention when then uh, that when I quit my job in two thousand nine, <clears throat> I had called up my mom. You know, mom. Uh, at that time, I actually wanted some fifteen days off because I was competing in a reality show on Channel V, and I had to travel to Hyderabad for that. so mm-hmm. i called up my mom i was like ma ye mujhe chutti nahi de rahe hai kya karna chahiye main quit kar lu mujhe jo karna hai to kar koi problem nahi <laughs> so she was pretty much supportive she initially okay. wanted me to be like a you know i uh, this thing ias and she wanted me to get into ias indian administrative mm-hmm. service and she used to show me these uh, big big bungalows you know which these uh, ias people I, get yeah. and uh, then she was okay with the fact that i want to get into modeling and acting क्योंकि हमेशा से पेरेंट्स का रहता है ना डॉक्टर इंजीनियरिंग आईएएस दीज आर ऑल लाइक 
एक स्टेबल प्रोफेशन है लाइफ टाइम सिक्योरिटी है सो वो पेरेंट्स का माइंड सेट वैसे ही रहता है एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली दैट्स दैट्स ट्रू सो दीपक यू स्विच ओवर टू एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री आपने मॉडलिंग करी लेकिन आपको अपना टीवी सीरियल जैसे पहला टीवी सीरियल मिलने के लिए लाइक हैव यू फेस्ड एनी स्ट्रगल फॉर गेटिंग दैट फर्स्ट असाइनमेंट एब्सोल्युटली लाइक फॉर since the time i started modeling 2008 to 2010 till the time i got my first show i had actually come to bombay a lot of times to give auditions us time maine permanently settle nahi hua tha bombay mein i had decided that when i get my first tv show only then i will shift to bombay okay so usse pehle maine kafi uh, shows ke liye audition diya tha final shortlist bhi hua tha i was specially called to bombay for the look test also but that didn't work out तो ऑब्वियसली ऑब्वियसली ऐसा नहीं कि मुझे पहला शो का ऑडिशन नहीं और मुझे पहला शो मिल गया ऐसा नहीं हुआ सो दैट वाज लाइक सम टू इयर्स बट ऑनेस्टली दैट वाज इन अ स्ट्रगल आई वुड से बिकॉज़ आई वाज इन दिल्ली आई वाज प्रीटी मच गोइंग मॉडलिंग ऐसा नहीं कि मैं मुझे मैं यू नो आई वाज ट्राइंग रियली हार्ड टू गेट इनटू एक्टिंग एट दैट टाइम ऑफ कोर्स आई आई ट्रैवल्ड टू बॉम्बे फाइव सिक्स टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग दोस टू इयर्स to get a job but i didn't get but at the same time i wasn't really disappointed because i was in delhi happy doing what i love doing i i i used to love modeling at that time i still do and i was with my family i was in delhi and i've been i born and brought up in delhi so that was a good thing so i wouldn't really say that i was those were like struggle struggle days to be honest okay so itne is samay mein like have you ever felt regret ki kyun maine job chodi and why i am doing going to do these serials and all yaar honestly uh, especially during this pandemic i feel that uh, i think everybody has gone through this emotion where they must have thought ki yaar ek stable life ki better hota it mein job kar rahe hote you know that then you would have got your salaries koi cut nahi hota koi kaam ki koi kaam ki kami nahi hoti so honestly ye pandemic ne to feeling diya hai wo pandemic <laughs> suddenly you 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 go out of work right suddenly there was yes. no work everything was shut the acting industry was shut people who are working from home they were working on their laptop and otherwise everything was shut right the yes. hospitality industry the acting industry people who had to go out to work everything was shut so every, especially as an actor i felt that that i should have a job <laughs> yes this pandemic has changed bahut logon ka mindset bhi change hua hai पर आपको एक चीज बताऊं मैं मैं ऑनेस्टली लॉर ऑफ पीपल माइट नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस बट यू नो इफ यू हैव टू बी इफ यू हैव टू बी समवेयर यू विल बी देयर ओनली यस नो नो वी डू बिलीव अगर 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 यू नो अगर मैं मैं बोलूं कि मैंने जॉब ले ली होती उस टाइम पर और मैं बहुत खुश होता और मैं बहुत स्टेबल होता लाइफ में शायद नहीं होता अगर यू नो इफ आई हैव टू गो थ्रू अ सर्टेन स्ट्रगल वो मैं जॉब में भी स्ट्रगल करता plus at the yeah, same time we have plans actually destiny have plans for all of us plus at the same time as i told you there were so many signs and uh, this industry has literally pulled me back every time i have thought ki nahi yaar it's not working out i should do something else it has literally pulled me back okay so it is supposed to be where this is the place where i'm supposed to be so i think i should just be you know make peace with it and be happy and i am honestly i'm very grateful that i'm here today in this pandemic i've learned so much i have become a better person i would say and i'm so grateful that i'm here today and i'm getting all the work great deepak your journey as an actor like how did the industry treated you uh i think uh, i don't know how exactly should i tell you matlab <laughs> like, what exactly are you trying to ask me i don't know like we want to know ki how did how the mumbai film industry like your television industry treated you when you came from delhi to mumbai and when you started your journey like in 2010 till 2020 2021 yeah like it was easy to get the assignments one one after the other or you have to face the struggle each and every time for every uh, new assignment or new yeah. project see uh there has been a gap every time i have done a show <clears throat> after every show there has been a gap and uh, you know i feel uh, it's not the industry that has treated me in that way it's just that the times have changed things have become more digital and uh, to be honest i haven't really adapted to that change 
I haven't really been okay with the fact to make reels and to make stories and to put up posts. I'm not that person. Okay. So I feel that's my shortcoming also at the same time that I should be more proactive in on Instagram on Facebook. I need to be seen around. People need to remember for people for people to remember me. They need to see me around. And when I started my career, उस टाइम पे Facebook Instagram नहीं था. नहीं things didn't work out so i was like dude i'm not coming you want to audition i will audition from delhi and send and okay the it was time. everything everything happened on the phone i everything happened from delhi i auditioned from delhi i did my look test from delhi and when he confirmed that dude your final that's when i flew to bombay okay that was the time when social media was picking up like 2009 facebook was there facebook was there obviously facebook mm-hmm. was there uh, but instagram wasn't there Uh, in instagram in much later yes. much later yeah. so yeah. what i'm trying to tell you here is that when it was the time for me to get popular in with my first two sh- three shows that time instagram wasn't there but then yeah. when i got done with my two three shows that's when instagram came and that that's when i had a gap between the four kabool hai okay so how is it that you more popular abhi aisa ho gaya hai ki log tv kam dekhte hain aur instagram zyada dekhte hain things have changed so much that you have to really adapt and i'm trying honestly i'm pushing myself to adapt more and more to put up more stories i'm pushing myself to put you know put up more stories more reels reels honestly i'm still not <laughs> comfortable with but uh, stories yes i do put a lot nowadays i post a lot of images but reels is something i'm still not very uh, comfortable with and very pro with it okay but i have to i have to be i'm trying <laughs> Deepak, who has been your uh, support throughout your journey? See, I would say my mom, initially, mm-hmm. and uh, my wife, definitely, because see, my mom was there as a support that beta tu jo kar raha hai. I am there with you. Don't worry, we have your back. But my wife, who was my girlfriend back way back when I got my first show, also, she understood the industry, and she understood. Yeah. what all i had to go through initially whatever so she has been like a wall to be honest till date she is like a wall standing and she is supporting me she is like the biggest support in my life today because mama was there mama was like an emotional support that yes beta you will do it and by the way she you know she showed that confidence in me and i could really progress in my career but at the same time like a wall my wife is standing next to me that's so that's really great and uh, deepak we would love to know any uh, like you have any hobby apart from acting oh i love driving oh. i love taking road trips and mera man karta hai ki main saal ke 11 mahine kaam karu aur ek mahina apni gaadi leke bas kahin nikal jaau pahadon mein i love the mountains so that is something i look forward to all the time bas acha road trip pe jana chalo 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 i'm going to drive no problem it's like that <laughs> otherwise otherwise i like uh, apart from that otherwise apart from that adventurous side i whenever i am home i love to read yeah. love to read and uh, i'm also i also keep learning something or the other like i'm learning web designing right now in the pandemic i was trying to learn parallel thing so okay yeah. deepak any like what are your future plans or future projects coming up so future plan uh, no future plan but uh i would say that i'm actually trying to start something on my own maybe like a small you know cloud kitchen or a restaurant like a small restaurant considering the time restaurant is a bad idea but cloud kitchen i feel is a good idea uh, delivery kitchen mm-hmm. so i'm i'm trying to do that and also i'm trying to just learn skills you know since i'm a, so since i'm a software engineer i started learning coding and website designing in these last one year and so i want to continue learning that that's what i'm doing and future projects if you ask me i am auditioning obviously i'm auditioning for a lot of tv shows and web series as well i am in talks 
still not finalized nothing is finalized yet so i can't really say anything at the moment but at the moment i'm doing kochrang prk on sony tv that is okay. happening yeah and plus otherwise uh, ad shoots and all keeps up okay great uh, deepak any unforgettable moment of your life you want to share with our viewers and forgettable in a good way right yeah in a good way <laughs> i think in terms of my work whenever i've got like a like when i got finalized for mr india when i got finalized for my first tv show so i still remember the excitement and uh, you know the the jumping around attitude at that time <laughs> so i remember when i got my mr india call i was jumping around i was crazy i went crazy and uh, also for the same same happened with my first tv show i was shooting for something in delhi i was doing a print shoot and uh, i got a call that you finalized and i was like shit 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 i want to hug somebody <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so that's i would say that work wise yes those are some unforgettable moments yeah, in my life okay, and good. next i think i would say that when i go to leh and ladakh and when i see the mountains uh covered in snow that will be like an unforgettable moment for me okay great uh, deepak our show success story works with world humanitarian foundation this association works for women empowerment so we would like love, love to hear your views about the women around the globe see i feel uh, women these days are fabulous they are doing such a they are rising in their careers and they growing so much it's it's a proud feeling like my wife also for example works and she likes to work and i i was you know a lot of people say oh did your wife uh, is your husband okay that you're working i think a wife doesn't need to really ask the husband if you know she should work or not it should be like a personal independent decision and uh, that is something that i told my wife as well every time that you know you like to work you work man no worries it's perfectly fine and uh, i'm happy yeah things are changing honestly for, for like i feel that i'm living in a city in bomb like bombay but a lot of people who are still living in small towns and maybe cities which are not that advanced they still have to the women still have to face so much and i really feel people get educated people get aware that i don't think there should be a topic of oh women should be treated right men and women are equal they should be equal matlab baat hi nahi honi chahiye waisa kuch topic hi nahi utna chahiye na ke women ke liye ye karo women ke liye wo equal hona chahiye sabko it should be like equal priority priority it's not a man's world anymore i feel it is a human world and both should be given equal priority and that's what's happening around the world and i'm quite happy about that whenever i see uh, you know whenever i read whenever i read things around i feel proud that okay things are changing now it's a better world now and it's going to get better in the future yes definitely things are getting better <laughs> deepak now one last question our show's name is success stories so hum ye janna chahenge ki aapki definition kya hai success ki success ki definition <laughs> honestly uh, i think it keeps changing baba it keeps changing every <laughs> now and then there is no definition that i can give for success obviously when you when you reach a particular position you like nahi yaar i'm not happy here i want to reach that position <laughs> so <laughs> success is changing the definition is changing every day every today i might say oh mm-hmm. agar main aisa kar lunga ye kar lunga to i'll be successful no yaar i don't that will be like putting a stop to my dreams and aspirations you know so i don't really want to get into that I don't really, okay. I don't really want to define success for myself. I want to be just keep growing, just keep working. Yeah. Keep, keep growing and evol- keep moving on. Keep evolving, keep becoming a better person. In every way success is like everything that you do around not just work, everything that you do contributes to your success. Yes. You have to become a better person also, yeah. That is also very important. Yeah, that's a great thought. uh deepak any last message for our viewers well uh, i know the pandemic has really uh, you know created a lot of problems for a lot of people around the world including me i would say a lot of people might think oh actor hai iske paas to hoga sab kuch you know but everybody has faced 
situation which which nobody had thought of you know that they will face in their life so i th- i would say that you know keep going don't lose don't lose hope and uh, whatever whatever challenges you are facing right now at the moment just keep growing just keep going and uh, be with your loved ones and get vaccinated that's very important i got both my doses i'm very happy i'm really you should also get your vaccination done all of you yes thank you deepak thank you so much for joining us today and thank you to our viewers for joining us so stay tuned for more success stories coming up every monday wednesday and friday and don't forget to subscribe our channel till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye and take care